YouTube family, what's good with you guys, man? My name is Kieran Davis. I'm the owner and founder of Contagious Co., where we focus on making self-love contagious for mental health awareness and suicide prevention. Guys, in this video, I'm going to tell all the aspiring clothing brand owners or people who have a clothing brand who are struggling or people who have a clothing brand who are ready to take this full time, how you can make $10,000 a month with your clothing brand. This ain't going to be no fluff. I'm going to get straight to it, get y'all straight gems, no gatekeeping, okay? So first thing you want to do, right, is to decide mentally, is this a hobby or are you trying to build a business, right? If you're just doing a hobby, that's cool. If you're doing a hobby and it's something you should enjoy doing on the side, don't even worry about it. But if this is something you're trying to build as a business, then it's time to really lock in, focus in, start making some sacrifices and making the moves that can put you in that position to turn this up, right? But there's a couple of things you need to consider before moving forward. Now, before we really, really dive in, if anybody would like to get coaching from me, go ahead and text me. I'm ready. Now, I'm not taking on a lot of people. I'm only going to take on a couple people who are serious, who are ready to take their brand to the next level, right? I, I get coaching. I've had coaches for all this year that's helping me get in position. So if you really want to get in position, you're going to need a coach, right? But I know some of you guys might be not even started yet or in square one. I can help you skip a lot of these steps and get you in a great position to get to this point. And after that, I can introduce you to my coaches so that you can take your brand even further. But for right now, anybody who's ready and you're serious and you're ready to just lock in, text me 724-734-9945. That's my number. That's my personal number. Text me. I'm ready. You know, and if you're not sure yet, I got some offers for you guys. Links in the description where you can check out an ebook and some exclusive content, right? how you can also elevate your brand too so let's get to it now the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a name for your brand that you can scale right so my, my, my brand name is called contagious before it was called contagious collection right so it's really just contagious coat just chopped it off why because there's no big brands on a high level that say um you know nike collection or uh, Louis Vuitton brand or, you know, uh, Gucci apparel. They don't do that. They don't do that. Right. It just is what it is. They it just, it's just Louis Vuitton, Dolce Gabbana. You know what I mean? Off white. They don't have them little <laughs> things on there because I'm telling you, your brand's going to be bigger than clothing when you're building a brand. Right. If this is a hobby, maybe you just do that. But if you're trying to build a successful brand, you're it's going to be bigger than clothing. You're going to impact people's lives beyond this. Why? Why? Because you're going to make a brand that is has a why has a message right you're not just somebody who's trying to make hot products you're not somebody who's just trying to just make cool streetwear apparel no you're trying to build something that connects with people on a deeper level right that's why my brand's contagious focus on making self-love contagious for mental health awareness suicide prevention people connect with that people are going through that people are struggling with that i i struggle with that i go through that uh see my mom go through that i've lived a very 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 challenging life but I'm still here and that's motivation, right? So understand you're an entrepreneur, you solve problems for profit. What, what problem resonates with you that you see people struggling with that you can uh, basically make a profit off of, right? Because you're passionate about it, it speaks to you. That's how you make an audience. That's how you make this customer avatar. Who are you selling to, right? James Hill says, uh, you know, the, the owner of Black Millionaire's page, $800,000 black so, uh, social media outlet news channel, right? He says, Three different types of markets, right? Understand which one your customer is in, which one your ideal customer is in. So you got Walmart buyers. These are people who are focusing on affordability over quality, right? You got Target shoppers. They're focusing on a premium product over the price, right? They'd rather pay more for a premium product. You got people who shop at Neiman Marcus. These are people who are focusing on luxury and exclusivity. They don't care about the price. They're going to buy it because it's exclusive and everybody not going to have it right now. I'm not saying exclusive. Some people would think of an exclusive like 50 items. Nah, that's not even exclusive. That's like basically non-existent. You can't build a multi-million dollar brand off of 50 items unless you're selling them for $50,000 each. But no one's going to buy that because, you know, it's gone. You know, how much, you know, that's another conversation. But, you know, my brand. We're like, I'm focused. My, my customer, my target audience is like the Walmart shoppers, right? I'm focusing on people who make about less than $40,000 a year. Why? 
And I'm not saying people who make more than that don't struggle with their mental health and things like that. You know, they're still going to buy it anyway for the message. But that's not who I'm primarily targeting. I'm trying to focus on making my product as as affordable as possible because I'm in the volume game. I want to I want to sell as many products as possible. Right. Somebody might make as much money as my brand by selling less products. Right. But they're selling to a smaller market. More people make less than 40,000 people make more than 40,000, right? That's like almost like the median salary, you know what I mean? So I'm focusing on more people. I'm focusing on the majority of the, you know, United States or the world. And some people are selling higher end products. Like Neiman Marcus has less cut shoppers than Walmart. You know what I mean? And then Target is going to be people who probably make kind of that middle class area, different span. So people, my customer might only have, they might be in the mall with $100, and this is the extra money after they done paid their bills. You know, they can buy my shirt for twenty dollars, or they can go in with a friend and buy two for thirty. They both spend fifteen dollars and get a shirt, and they're happy with it. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, think about who you're selling to and how much, uh, you know, how much spend, how much uh, disposable income they have to buy on on clothes. Because if you're selling a sixty dollar t shirt, how many people can afford a sixty dollar t shirt every week versus somebody who can afford a fifteen twenty dollar t shirt? every week. You know what I mean? So they can get all of my products because it's such an affordable price for them, you know, and they're willing to sacrifice some quality. So I'm not trying to give them this Chanel embroider patches, things like this, this custom one-off thing. No, they want affordable prices, right? So I'm, I'll even do 10, you know, 9.99 t-shirts, you know, I even do free shirts sometimes through my, to my database, sending them texts and emails for a free shirt. And all they do is pay shipping, right? So that's my customers are going to support me because they like the mission, and not only that, it's a price point that they can afford and won't hurt them. Don't want, they're not going to regret this purchase. You understand what I'm saying? So get your name. Make sure that you have a name that you can scale off of. Like, don't don't have no, uh, you know, drip gang. It's going to be hard to scale drip gang because you might try to get in the mall and all people don't think they, they don't relate with that. You know what I mean? So understand that you got to also have a professional, you know, uh, you know, appearance as well. And not disappear to whatever area you're in, whatever group of people that you're around. You know what I mean? You can name it something that kind of still gives off that vibe, but still scalable, right? Have a mission, a why that resonates with people because people don't buy what you sell. They buy why you sell it. So have a mission that connects with people on a deeper level. Like me, I do mental health, things like that. I'm an advocate for mental health in general. So I was already talking about this before I was doing apparel. Now it just doubles down because it relates to my story, it relates to me, it relates to my upbringing, things like that. So I can relate with people who are struggling with this as well. I can have a real conversation with them about this. Might be something else for you. You know, you might, you might like whatever they, whatever it is that you that resonates with you. You can build something off of it and and and, and leverage that right to get sales. Right. The next thing too, you want to find a winning product. Right. How do you find a winning product? You might like me, for example, my first product, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. It was not good, but I was able to still get sales off of it because great mission, great message, right? Your message is going to sell. But if you got a product that represents your brand, it's going to sell itself as well. And people are going to see it while someone else is out wearing it. And they're going to be like, dang, where you get that? I want that. Right. That's the, that's the effect that a good product has, because when somebody buys it, they become a walking billboard for you. Or if that product isn't good, no one, it, it's not, it's not going to be good marketing, right? So the person's going to buy it from your message. They're going to wear it. They're going to go out and that's marketing, right? They're walking billboard for you. A hot product is going to get people to inquire and compliment people who are wearing your product. So if somebody's getting compliments of wearing your shirt, what they want to do, they want to come buy more, right? So, and also the other person is going to come buy some as well because they think it's dope. And then when they hear about the message or when they tell them about the message, they're like, yo, I really like this. I want to support this brand as well. That's what a hot product coming at. I recommend people to go on um, Instagram, find people who are selling these, who are selling designs, bro. These people eat, sleep, breathe designs, bro. It helped me elevate my brand. I, I bought for like five different people. I looked at their artwork. I'm like, this is high quality stuff. I like their designs. I will rock some of these things and I'm going to give them off. I'm going to tell them about my brand and get a custom, uh, a custom design from them. Make sure if you buy from them that you get the commercial use. So when they send you the receipt for your payment, for your design, tell them to make sure that you get custom 
I mean, commercial use for this design so that you can continue to use that. And you don't got to worry about them when you when you make 300,000 off this design. They not like, man, all you all I made was forty dollars off of that. You feel me? Like, let me can I get some more money. It's like, nah, that's what it was. You feel me? That's what you price your work at. You know what I mean? And nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? So make sure that you get that so you can protect yourself long term. You know, uh, you can if you if you want some of my people, uh, anybody who I'm coaching or working with, I'll give you the direct designers that I'm I work with that I um, you know use as well. You can also go on Fiverr. They have great skills. You can get designs on there for about five to twenty dollars. Instagram designers are going to be like probably thirty to eighty dollars. So it depends on what you're trying to pay for, what quality of work you're trying to pay for, and things like that. When you get that winning design, right, you might be like, how do I know it's a winning design, right? You don't want to just go off what you think because your customer might not have the same taste as you, right? So you need to get outside opinions. Send the design to some trusted friends and family. You know, if you have a network of other brand owners and things like that, send it to them, get their opinion. If everybody there approves on this, you take it to your audience. You're going to post it on like social media. You're going to say thumbs up or fire, right? Now, you want to test it, right? If you get 10 fires and one thumbs down, you're like, okay, let me test the next design, right? So the next one get uh, the ne next one gets seven fires, no thumbs down. It didn't get as much engagement, but it didn't get any thumbs down. But you want to see what's going to get the most engagement and the most positive reactions, right? So the next one you post might get 15 fires, no thumbs down, and everybody else approved it. The audience approved it. Now you're going to take this design and you're going to be like, should we drop this? Um, uh, yes or no. And then you're going to make sure you got a database. So I don't care what level you at. Decide, the moment you decide this is going to be a business and not a hobby or even as a hobby, make sure you got a website. The biggest brands use Shopify, so you should be using Shopify as well. You want to have a separate database for your like emails and text messaging. Why? Say Shopify go down. Now you lost all your data, right? Say Instagram go down. You lost all your followers. So you need data and you want to separate these, uh, your, your data, right? So you're going to get Clavio for your emails and you're going to get like PostScript or, or SMS bump for your text messaging, right? So you're gonna, you can make a, a, a way to acquire this data. You can go on like SMS bump, PostScript. You can go to customers, acquisition. You're going to go to social media opt-in link. It's going to generate a link for you to copy and post onto your, your story or whatever. And then when you say, should we drop this? Yes or no? Click the link to, to uh, basically sign up for the release, right? They're going to click the link. It's going to bring up a text message on their phone. It's going to tell them to opt in for the drop, things like that. They're going to send that text. They're going to join your database. So when you're ready to release this product, you can send them a text and they're already warmed up and you can just keep on making content until this drop. Go get you a sample made, make content around this, get ready to post it, things like that. You got one design. Listen, if a hundred people are in a room, this is how my mentors taught me a world and vision. If you got one, if you got a hundred people in a room and you got eight different designs. Somebody who's never even heard about your brand comes into that room. They're going to see eight. They're going to see hundred people with eight different designs. They're going to they're going to think that these are different brands. And like, man, these brands kind of got a little motion. Like, you know what I mean? But they ain't going to know that they're all yours, right? If you got a hundred people in a room with one design on all your brands, somebody come into that room. They're going to be like, yo, this brand is taking over. This brand is going crazy. So there's no reason for you starting off. There's eight billion people in the world, and you got twenty designs out in the world. I'm telling you, you're going to seem like such a bigger brand if you got one design on all them people, right? You need to be able to try to get 10,000 of these sold, 100,000 of these sold, 300,000 of these sold. That's when you're going to appear so much bigger because everybody's seeing this everywhere and they can associate this back to your brand. They can Google it. They can find your brand, right? This is also the smartest thing to do when you're giving product to like influencers and celebrities and things like that. They're wearing the product that everybody already associates with your brand. So when they see this, people can search it or Google it or they can reference it back to you and they can go buy the same thing. Because if you give Lil Durk an exclusive shirt, they want to buy that shirt too. Which is like, oh, that was only for Lil Durk. We only met like five of them. It's exclusive, it's limited, we don't got it no more. No, they want to look like Lil Durk. They want to dress like Lil Durk too. So get Lil Durk the shirt you're giving everybody else. It's going to reinforce what you already got. And then more people are going to go buy that too because now Lil Durk got it. Right. So you just ride this winning design off. If it's working, why move away from it? Keep doing what works. Right. 
Now, this is how you're going to scale it up. You got the name, you got your message, and you found a winning product, right? So what do you do with this now? You can go to social media route, but understand this. When the, in the last 30 days, have you bought something online that you've never heard of, never had before for the first time? Now, maybe a few of you who have, but for the most of us, we have not. We have not. But in person, in the last 30 days, have you bought something that you've never seen before, never had before? It's more likely that you have versus online. It could have been a candy bar in the checkout line. It could have been anything that you've seen. It was like, oh, man, this is kind of, I can use this. It's easier to sell to somebody in person than it is online, you know? So you want to start doing pop-ups in your local area. The reason why I say you want to do pop-ups, because you're going to be able to collect data from these people because you got Shopify, like I said. Shopify is a POS system. You can put it on your smartphone and run transactions through your phone. You can get a card reader from Shopify, take uh, you know card payments, take Apple Pay, Tap Pay, all that stuff like that. You can set up a little iPad, whatever the case may be. They even got like a mobile card reader scanner POS system that you can buy from them as well, right? You want to go do pop-ups because you need to learn how to sell. And you also need to get more data. So this is going to allow you to get data in your area because when they, you buy, they buy something from you, you're going to text them a receipt. That's going to get them the data. Or you're going to enter their name, first name, last name, email, phone number, whatever the case may be. Send them a receipt. You got their data. You can sell to them multiple times. Listen, you can't build a multi-million dollar brand by just acquiring one-time customers through the life of your business. No, you need returning customers. How are you going to get somebody to return? You need to get their phone number and email. You know, like I said, Instagram shut down tomorrow and all your fault and all your engagement is on Instagram. Now, look, you don't got it. Now you out of business because you can't get in contact with your customers. You need to get their phone number and email. I don't care. Even if they buy one time, they buy on the fly. I don't care if somebody, hey, can I pull up on you and get a shirt? I'm going to still enter it into my POS on my phone. And I'm going to send them a receipt. Simple. And then I'm going to be able to text them when a, when a new color drop, thing like that. That's the thing, too. People want to get these uh, release six six colorways of this design. No, we're not going to do that in the beginning. Why? People are indecisive. You want them to really buy every color you ever drop, period. You know, so if they know if you release some black, pink, blue, red, green, you know what they're going to do? They're going to buy their favorite colors and then leave the other ones. Right. Nah, we ain't going to do that. We're going to release a hot design. We're going to release it in black. They're going to see it. They're going to like it. They're going to buy the black. Most people are going to buy black anyway, right? But when you get too many options, they might not get that. They're going to buy black anyway. So we're going to release black. Then we're going to release a light version, right? We could do a poll on that too. Or we're going to do like a pink, an off-white, something like that, right? Then we're going to slowly release the other colors. And that's how you can ride out that one design long term. Then you can put it on other products, uh, dad hats, beanies, tote bags, hoodies, joggers, shorts, same design, you're just going to flood it and keep running it up. And we ain't talking about multi-color. We're talking about one color print. That's it. One color print. That's it, right? You go into pop-ups, you might have your two color options, a dark and a light color. Same design. Everything the same, right? You're going to give them an offer. I, what I do is one for $22 for $30. That's how my coaches taught me to do it. Uh, if the, if your, your product costs a little bit more, like $10 or something like that, times three. You know what I mean? So you can do one for 30 two for whatever the case may be, but you want to give them a bundle because it's more opportunity for them to uh, wear your product. So the multi so if they bought two shirts from you, they can wear two that work they can wear that shirt twice this week and maybe uh, two weeks later they wear it twice again. That's you're doubling the chance of somebody seeing your product out in the world versus one shirt once a week, once a month. Nah, you want to double it up. So while you're starting your brand now, don't worry about how much money you make and move volume and get more people in your product and get more customers. And you're gonna get more customers by having a great brand uh, mission for why, having a great product and having a great offer. So the great offer is gonna be one for 20, two for $30. If you can do one for 25, two for 40, do that. If you gotta do one for 30, two for 50, whatever the case, do that. Depending on whatever works for your brand and what works for your target. But what, what works the best is the most affordable, pro most affordable price, right? The best offer. Because if you're offering one for 32 for 50 and I'm offering one for 22 for 30, who are they more likely to buy from? And they never heard of us before. They never seen us before. They're probably going to support me first. We both got great missions, both got great product, but my offer is better than yours. So they're probably going to buy from me before they buy from you. Right. The next thing, once you start getting out and you're doing these pop ups, you're getting data, you're flooding the streets in your area with your product. People are seeing it. People are recognizing it. People are supporting you. 
Now you want to put yourself in a position to go open up a kiosk location. I got a full um, video on this that you guys can look at in the link in the description. Go to my gum road and you're going to see uh, a video on that. But it's a full breakdown on how to get that, how to get into motion with that. I'm going to release another video about that in the future, but it's not going to be as uh, in depth. But that's another thing you guys can get through. When you get the kiosk, it's going to be like an everyday pop up because your pop up, you might not have a pop up every day. You probably have one once a week or once every two weeks or once a month, depending on where you live. So the mall is a way for you to get a pop-up shop every single day. People are going to the mall. You don't got to worry about people coming or not. Some of these pop-ups, they might not be popping for real, right? And make sure you know how to sell. I'm saying go to the pop-up shirt first, learn how to sell, then go to the mall and you and get better at selling and get better at doing all these things. And if you go to the mall and you can make $350 a day, you can make $10K a month, you can make $120K in a year. It's that simple, right? And I'm telling you how you can do it off two for 30. If 10 people come and buy a shirt on a whole day and they spend $20 with you, right? That's going to give you $200 in a day. If them same people you offer a two for 30, they like $10 more to get another shirt. Why not? It's, it's a, why not? Right? That's how most people do. Them same 10 people spend 30 instead. Now you just made $300 instead of 200. You didn't have to work harder. You didn't have to find new people. All you did was give them a better offer. Right now you made 300. Now all you got to do is make $50 more. But if you don't, even if you just do that, that's OK, because there's going to be slow days and it's going to be popping days. So you might hit Friday and Saturday where you're going to go ahead and make 550 to 800 to 1000 to 1200 dollars because it's just booming on Friday and Saturday that the day you made 300, 300, 300, 300. Now you have made an extra $200 to compensate for them days you didn't. And you're going to see yourself doing 10K or if not more than that. So that's easily how you can do this at a kiosk. And you're getting so much data because everybody who buys from you, you're getting their phone number, you're getting their email, you're telling them about your brand story because that's how you're selling it to them. You're not telling them, hey, check out this product. It's dope. It's the nicest popping thing. No. Hey, how you doing really fast? Can I tell you about my clothing brand? You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. What's this? What's this about? Yeah, this is my brand. It's called Contagious by making self-love contagious from mental awareness, suicide prevention, blah, 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 skip, skip, whatever. Insert your brand and your message and your why. And that's how you sell to them. And they're going to buy into your brand and not the product. So they're going to that's a long term customer. Right. But that's it. Ain't too much more. The video going to be super, super, super long. Um, but there's so much more to say, man. That's why if you guys want to jump on a call with me, get coaching, things like that, text me. I'm ready. Only if you're serious and you're trying to make a build a brand and not a hobby. 724-734-9945 or, you know, message me on answering and things like that. But look in the links in the description to actually tap into. And uh, until next time, man, peace. Love you guys. Take care of yourself.